This fly that we're going to tie is a, a more or less a generic check nymph pattern. I'm going to start off with a size 10 scud hook and I'm going to begin wrapping some A dot black thread to it. But before I do that, I'm going to add some additional weight with some lead underbody. I'm going to take a handful of turns here just to give me some additional weight and get the fly down quickly. Break that off. Trim it with my nail, push it together, and then just kind of position it to where I want it to be. Then I'll start to tie in the thread just in front, and then I'll reach all the way back to lock that in place. Give it a couple more wraps just to make sure it's in there good and firm. And I'll trim away the excess thread. For the rib on this fly, what I'm going to use is 3X tippet material. So I'm just going to pull off a section of that and begin to tie that in just behind the lead. Get that in good and secure and then begin to tie my <clears throat> tie the wraps all the way down to the bend of the hook and then bring it back up. Then I'll bring it back to the point and I'm going to start to dub in the body. And the dubbing that I'm going to use is an Antron dubbing. And I'm going to use a golden stone for the body. And then we're going to build in a hot spot with this as well. And for that we're going to use a rusty orange Antron dubbing. So I'll just get a good amount on my thread here. And again, about midway through, I'll just start to dub that body. Take another section. just continue to fill in those gaps and once I'm satisfied with how the back looks then I'll take some of my rusty orange and I'll tie in that hot spot and this is going to be a relatively small section of the fly and again this is an orange Antron dubbing just tie that in and that's good there and then the final piece of it is going to be the legs and that I'm going to use a natural black dubbing and I'm going to be generous with this because I'm going to pick it out later so I'll get the black dubbing on the thread, start to make my wraps. Pull out another section. Make sure this is well built up. And when I'm satisfied with that, I'm going to come back and then put my shell backing on. And for this, I'm going to use a mottled thin skin, and I'm going to use the oak color. And I'm going to cut this into about a quarter inch section or so, just enough to cover the back. The smaller you, you tie these flies, the thinner it will be, obviously. And so I'll just remove the backing of the thin skin and I can tie this then right onto the front of the fly that 
that good and secure. And then I can stretch the base of it down and tie the rest in with my ribbing material. Give it a good stretch, pull it down, keep tension on that, and then just work my way back up to the front of the fly. And then when I get to the front, I can make a couple of wraps <clears throat> on top, pull everything back here. And then trim off the excess. So you take that, and just clean up the front of that. And I can whip finish the front. Make sure everything is nice and secure. <clears throat> trim up that extra thread and then I can come back and trim up the excess there. Now the last thing that I want to do with this is I want to take my pick and just pick out the legs of this. And so I'll just go back through and I just want to extend these legs Pick out just the black dubbing. If you like to use Velcro, you can use that, or if you've got a dubbing brush. I just want to give it that real buggy look. If you want to situate the scud back any differently, you can. And then that's it. <clears throat> that is uh, just a generic check nymph pattern.